Hey, hello, happy people. One more in the kitchen with Gus. So for today's video, I'm gonna be making a um, rockfish filet, which is, this is a saltwater fish and very popular in the, in the Pacific, which is like Southern California, I would say. And so this is very popular fish, saltwater fish in that area. So we're gonna be cooking a filet of this thing here. And for today's video, instead of using lime or lemon, I'm gonna use a orange. So you all will see I'm preparing this filet with an orange and all the seasonings that you guys already know uh, that I've been using all my videos. Along with this, as a side dish, I'm gonna be making a chayote souffle, which is gonna be very, very delicious. And with this, I'm gonna be using, to combine and prepare the, the souffle, I'm gonna be using a classic Alfredo sauce and some mozzarella cheese. You will like it, stay with me, and please subscribe, leave a comment below, ring the bell so you're gonna get notifications when we upload the next video. Stay with us. All right, so let's start seasoning the fish. So I'm gonna use this orange. I'm gonna cut this orange in half, and I'm gonna use this container here to squeeze the orange inside. It's gonna be like this. Very quick. And then we're gonna mix in all the seasonings in here and this is gonna be like a, a bag for, to put all the fillets in here and then be able to um, get all the flavors onto the filet. So red pepper, you guys know that I always use red pepper. So red pepper over here. Um, the lemon pepper seasoning. This is one of my favorites when I'm cooking fish. So as I always say, you never go wrong with that. And garlic salt. So this is another type of garlic salt, but that one with the, the green bottle over there is the same thing pretty much. And uh, let me see if I have anything interesting here that we can use. Uh, uh No, that's all. All right, so now I'm gonna be using this butter and I'm gonna spray all over the fish here. This will help also to get the seasoning stuck on the filet. And then simple like this, we're gonna just put the fish over there, you know? And this will help get all the taste from the seasoning onto the skin of this filet, you know, the meat. And that's it. Right. We have all here. So now that we have <clears throat> all the seasoning and like the orange in here, we're gonna let this thing marinating a little bit inside the freezer for about 15 minutes. This will help to the meat of this fish to retain all the flavor of the season that we we'll use it uh, to prepare this fish. So I'm gonna put over here in the freezer and then we can continue to cook and prepare the souffle. Now it's time to prepare the side dish. So I have the chayote over here and we're gonna use, we're gonna use this container. So I'm gonna put everything in here. It's already cooked, okay? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna spread them out here and I'm gonna add some seasoning. Very simple, like the same way I did the fish. So, but for now, instead of using butter spray, I'm gonna use uh, olive oil spray. The same thing, that's gonna spray all over. There you go. Again, 
black pepper, normal black pepper. I think that everyone uses this to season pretty much anything when you are cooking. So a little bit of black pepper and <clears throat> garlic and salt. So you can give a little bit of salty taste for your food, you know, and that's it pretty much. That's it. So now we're gonna mix them all. And then that's it. Let's gonna put this thing on the side and I will prepare all the sauce that we're gonna put on top of here. And I've got the oven already on and I did set at a 385 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so now I'm gonna prepare the sauce, the sauce for uh, the souffle. So I'm gonna use now is, I'm gonna use two eggs. I have them split them up here. Uh, the white egg and the yellow parts over here. And then I'm gonna use as well a third of a cup of flour to give you more consistency to the, to the sauce. And I'm using here a cup of milk. Okay, so let's start. everything here inside this container so remember one cup of milk and a third of a cup of flour and let's get started all right first we're gonna put this thing in here okay then the yellow egg all right okay now i'm gonna use the alfredo sauce the classic the classic one so i'm gonna throw all in there all right the sauce is already ready so we're gonna put all over Here. It's already smelling really good. I can tell you. Okay. All right, so you can add a little bit more of black pepper on top after you mix this, you know, at your taste. And, uh, and then now, some mozzarella. Put all on top. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. The last thing I'm gonna use is the the white egg that we mix it. You see, look the consistency of this thing. How interesting it is. Look. <laughs> but you're gonna 
spray all over and a little bit more of parmesan sal uh, cheese on top of it that's it so our side dish is ready as I mentioned before oven is already going on 385 degrees Fahrenheit and then let's gonna put inside all right let's take the fish from the freezer it's right here okay so here is the fish, the filet, you see all the juicy, it's already there. And when you put in a cold environment, you know, you can put it on your freezer, on your fridge and in a cooler with ice. You can choose whatever you want, but this helps to get the seasoning and the juice when your seasoning get together, flick and uh, stick together. So. Here I have uh, corn flour in this plastic bag and I'm gonna use this to uh, bread the fillets. So I'm gonna throw them in there. You see? I'm going to put all of them. Alright, zip it up and then shake it up. <laughs> Simple, easy and you're not going to make any mess in your kitchen. And that's it, pretty much ready to go to the casting pan. All right, time for frying these fillets. You see here, look, all floured. Look at this big one. Okay. All right, so let's gonna flip the Celeste over to fry the skin part you know you see the skin here so this fillet is with the uh, with the skin on it it's not skinless it's actually with skin All right, the fish is ready already. Look, look. Let's gonna take them off of the pan because we don't want them to break apart. Look, crispy, for sure, tasty, and I got water in my mouth already. <laughs> so, okay, let's gonna turn this off and check the oven. Let's see our souffle. 
Look there. It's already done. Fantastic. Look at this thing. Good. Really good. So let's put this over here. And let's try it. I have the fish already here in this tray. The souffle is here, which is gonna be our side dish as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. So if you guys like, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below, ring the bell to get notifications for the next video and let's try it. So first thing I'm gonna put the souffle on my plate. Look at how beautiful this thing is. Mm. I would say like that. Oh man, this is tasty. All right. Mm. Mm. And then I'm gonna get a small fillet here. Put on the side and I'm gonna use this lime because I love lime to put on my food and and I'm gonna squeeze on top of this fillet right great so I will try each one separate first so first is gonna be the fillet look very juicy, you know, you see the, the white meat, like with the, with the juice of the, the season, everything in there. Let's gonna see if the orange turned out really good. Mm. Really? Fantastic. I can, like my mouth is full of water with this fish. Hmm. Really good. And then let me try the souffle. Hmm. Even more juicy. <laughs> hmm. Now I'm going to try both together because this dish is really good. So a little bit of the souffle here, and I'm gonna put the fish. Hey, let me know, this is a real preparation of your fork when you are eating. <laughs> you got all the foods in here, you know, and throwing my mouth. Mm. I have to call my wife, my daughters, for them to come over here, eat with me, because this food is so good, so tasty. And you know, like when you put love on things you're doing, especially when you're cooking, you never go wrong and never gonna take like a, a bad taste. Okay, once again, please, Hit like if you like the video, subscribe, ring the bell so you guys can get notification and see you next time. Have a good week. Bye you all.